Hello and welcome. This is Aaron Yeagle, your social media professional. Today's video, Social Networking into a Niche. We'll have an introduction. I'll answer the question, is SMO a DYI activity? Your niche, keeping it real, overindulgence. You're probably well aware of how helpful social networking tools can be when it comes to getting attention for your business. In fact, social networking has become such a salient topic in recent years that it's developed its own marketing acronym. Just as search engine optimization has SEO, social networking has social media optimization, or SMO. Is SMO a DYI activity? Yes and no. While it's true there are people who make their living by managing the Twitter accounts, Facebook profiles, and dozens of other social profiles of people and businesses, the good news is that if you're a small operation, there's absolutely no reason why you can't manage your own social media optimization. There's very little about the process that's acutely difficult. The most annoying thing about it is that it is often time consuming, which is why some companies choose to outsource the work. Once your social media optimization reaches a cer certain point, you might deem it necessary to outsource it as well. But for people who are just starting on the path to social media optimization, I recommend that you manage it yourself. The reason why social networking is so pivotal when it comes to niche marketing is that the entire point of social networking in the first place is to find a niche. Think of it this way. When you create a personal profile on these sites, you're seeking to find people who can network and connect with. On personal profiles, these are likely friends that you know in real life, so you can build up your communication methods with them. In essence, you're creating your own little niche where you can find others easily through social networking and others can find you. Working through social networking with a business is the exact same thing. You're putting your business out there looking for people who might be interested in your goods and services or what you have to say. The art behind using Twitter and LinkedIn is the same as it would be with email advertising or working on forums. Post regularly enough so that your account is obviously an active account and people stay aware of your existence. But don't spam the accounts of your friends and colleagues multiple times a day. To do so is to become annoying and, even though you're looking to keep up a steady stream of conversation going, if you become irritating, people will defriend your social network account. Good things to make your friends on social networkings aware of are promotions, blog updates, sales, changes in business, or tips and tricks. Keep your updates fun, interesting, and relevant. Overindulgence. A good rule of thumb is that if you don't have anything to say, then don't say it. However, you should have something to say about your business at least two times a week. Should this not be the case, you need to work on making your business more dynamic. So, don't overindulge. Don't deluge your friends and people who've liked your page with a lot of insanity. Keep it real. Our recap. We had an introduction about SMO. We answered the question, is SMO a DYI activity? We talked about your niche, keeping it real, and watching out for overindulgence. If you have questions about social media and how it impacts your business or how you can create a social media plan for your business, by all means call me, Aaron Yegel, your social media professional. Thank you.